whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Okay, let's practice that because that's a bit tricky. So here we go. It starts with a scale, right? I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. I like to think of that as one idea, right? I am the resurrection and the life says the Lord. So we're not going to take much time with the comma after the word life. It'll be life says the Lord. Okay, let's do it again. I am the resurrection and the life says the Lord. Whoever believes in me. Now that's nice, right? It's all the same note. Whoever believes in me, and then an arpeggio going down. Let's try that again. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Now, I don't totally like how the rhythm is there at the end, so I, I slightly change it. Even if he dies, will never die. You know, I'm just kind of changing it just a little bit with time, but your organist or accompanist should be able to follow you. Here's exactly how it's written. Even if he dies, will never die. I'm not a huge fan of that. I kind of like this more. Even if he dies, will never die. Right? It's more equal at the end, which I, I really, really like. Okay, let's do the whole thing. Here we go. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. And the first note of the refrain is praise to. Okay, so it's it's up a third, a minor third. That's because the verse is essentially an E minor. The refrain is in G major, so that's why we have to go up that minor third from the verse getting back into the refrain. So this Holy Week, I've created an absolutely free checklist. You don't even have to log in to get it, and this will help you overcome any stage fright issues that you might have. It's got 10 ideas on there for ways in which folks are able to actually improve their confidence and overcome their stage fright. So you can get that, it's printable, so you can carry it with you. You can get it by clicking the link in the description below and simply pressing download when you get to that landing page. And what this will do again is give you basically the freedom to express yourself better in church. So when you're singing and cantering, you want to be able to communicate really clearly with the congregation. And if you have any issues with nerves whatsoever, you know, that can inhibit and restrict that communication. So we want to get rid of the nerves, get rid of the stage fright, and become more confident and better able to express God's message. So you can get that checklist in the description below. And also, if you want to go really hardcore, this week I'm offering a new course at a 30% off discount. It's called Fearless Voice. And you can check that out in the description below. This course teaches you again how to be absolutely fearless and ultra confident when you go to canter and sing at church. I've helped thousands of people with this exact skill and so I decided to actually put the techniques into a course so that you could take it on your own and you could learn as well. Are you struggling with stage fright when you're singing at church? And if you get nervous when you're singing for people, does it negatively affect your performance? We both know that music is essential to the mass, but rather than hitting that home run and knocking it out of the park and having a great mass, you're sitting up there or standing in a state of fear and paralysis, not being able to do what you're supposed to do. And you're burning down your voice and your time and your energy being nervous rather than singing your best for the congregation. Think about the fact that the entire congregation, they are taking notes about how you sound and how you look up there. And even if you're in a balcony, it's easy to hear in the voice the nerves of someone who's nervous. And all this fear 
because you are afraid of what people think of you. Just think of all the amazing things that you've done in your life so far, but now you've got this black cloud because you're afraid of what people think of you and you're stuck with that black cloud. Rather, you could learn how to overcome stage fright, overcome it, and change your life. On the other side of stage fright, and I can say this from experience, is the ability to serve your congregation well, service to God, also happiness, peace of mind, and so many other benefits. By solving this, you also increase the freedom that you have to express yourself. You are more able to bring good people into your life because they can see that you're confident and a good person. But instead, you're sitting here terrified of what people think of you and people that you don't even know. What if I was to take you by the hand and walk with you past all the crap we talked about and get you to the outcome of overcoming stage fright? Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Carney, and I've been teaching this for over 10 years now. I've worked with thousands of singers in person and tens of thousands of singers online improving their confidence and ability to sing in church. I've coached people to get over their stage fright in small churches, large churches, small stages, really, really large stages, and I've worked with singers of all ages to help them improve their confidence and get over stage fright. What I do is I teach a series of techniques and strategies that professional singers use. And I've spent a long time in college learning from professional singers. So I teach you those strategies that have allowed thousands of people to become ultra confident on stage. We cover the mind, the body, and the spirit. And I present these techniques to you so you have a full spectrum of strategies to use that you can take to your church and be able to sing more confidently. And I've put together a comprehensive online course that will teach you how to do this from point A, where you're at, all the way to point v, B, getting over your stage fright. And you can start right now. Just click the link in the description below. I will see you inside the program. I will bring you from where you are now to getting over stage fright for good. This is such a good investment of time and energy and money, frankly. So get into the program and I will see you on the inside.